um, but we'll put it in for now and then I'll lighten it in just a second here and there. What I can do is use this colour to improve some of the modelling around the nose a little. brow as well. I like the introduction of this uh, this colour in, in terms of adding to the overall colour scheme as well. So so often we can make a single colour you know do more than one thing for us in terms of enhancing the painting. there as well and then I think I can probably get away with a bit under the the nose I, I haven't forgotten the nostrils I know I need to come back and adjust those but let's add some more titanium white to that same color and I've probably gone too far the other way now. It's perhaps a bit too light, but I think it's going to be okay. All right then, so now we need to go for some uh, very dark dark. So I'm going for my burnt umber, which I think is the first time I've actually used the burnt umber in this painting. So I perhaps squeezed out way more than I needed. And some French ultramarine blue. And I'm just creating a mixture of that, which is roughly 50-50. Now I cleaned my brush a bit, but not overly thoroughly. So if there's a little bit of that lighter paint in there, that's okay. It's just gonna add a little extra variation to our dark. So what I'm going to do is begin adding this to some of the areas of the hair here just to bring in some couple of areas of, of deeper shadow and I'm quite happy with that colour as a, as a dark shadow colour. So what I can do is add little touches of that to the eyebrows here and there. Similar treatment on the left. And then I think I can probably get away with a little, just a little touch on the tops of the eyes. I'm just zooming in on my reference to so I can actually see the shape of these nostrils. A little more precisely. And, and really, you know, I, I haven't drawn too many shapes precisely in this painting. I'm just kind of enhancing shapes within the patches of paint that I've put down. I can use the same colour, but a little bit of a defining line along parts of the mouth. Now the colour I used for that first highlight in the hair, if you remember, I'm just picking up some of that again with my filbert and I just want to just pick up some of the slightly reflected light that's present underneath the nose here.
kind of just make sure that uh, Russell's actually got a, a right nostril and a left one for that matter. And that's a little better, I think. And then I'll just take a slightly lighter version of that colour. Just put a little lick under the eye there. I, I quite like this patch of uh, the background that's showing through, so I'm going to leave that. But we can add a touch of that same colour down here little touch there and there and then over the top of the lips a little on the cheek there touch there and there and then you know I spoke about the stubble before but I'm basically going to ignore the stubble I think I don't think it's going to add anything to my painting if I include it. So here's a look at the finished painting. As with all my videos, if you click the link in the description below the video, then that will take you to a high resolution image and you can actually zoom in on different areas of the painting if you want to get a closer look at the brushwork.